Operation Livewire, also known as Update 1.13, is coming this Thursday, November 17th, for Insurgency Sandstorm, chock full of upgrades and improvements. Let's take a dive in. I'm your older than average gamer. Now, I'm sure everybody's very interested to know if there's going to be, um, you know, a new map with this. There is no official word in the uh, current brief just yet. Uh, the picture uh, certainly looks like something different, something we haven't seen before. It looks potentially very urban. They're doing something a little interesting with this as well, which is, <laughs> I'm going to read this for you here. Um... We all know you've been waiting patiently to see what's in store this update, and we're happy to finally be sharing it with you. Tune in throughout the week as we acquire fresh intel and update each of the redacted sections below. So, as we're going to take a look here, <clears throat> they've got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of the f beginning of this, uh, you know, of these notes are, you know, redacted. Uh, pieces of information regarding this update, which they're going to release in, over the next f couple of days, basically, up until uh, Thursday the 17th when this actually comes out. And I, I get what they're doing. You know, they're trying to build a little tension um, with this, um, although I don't know if they needed to do that. I think it may have, may in this case have been better to just give people a whole bunch of really great news right away. But that being said, it's still going to be interesting to find out what what gets turned over here. As we scroll down and we move through into the pieces of, of this brief that we do know, um, one of those things at the very top is firefight. Uh, firefights um, being reverted back to 12 verse 12 on, on PC and back to 10 verse 10 on console. Uh, their atten intention apparently is to go back to 5 versus 5 at some point, but they need to balance it better. So that's a, that's a relatively small uh, part of this update. Uh, lighting improvements to the night maps and essentially what it looks like is that they've just they what they've really done here is they've made most of the maps darker i think to incorporate more night vision you know um, but they've also you'll notice in some of these pictures um that they've uh cleared up more of the smoke on the map and presented more of a night sky backdrop so it looks like the the overall clarity of the air <laughs> is better in these. So darker and clearer is what it is what it seems to be, which, you know, maybe on the surface doesn't sound like it makes sense, but visualize that with these pictures here. <clears throat> uh, another big one here, new map layouts. And 13 new map layouts are coming with Operation Livewire. Uh, Ambush is getting new some new looks on Bab, on Hideout, on Outskirts, on Precinct, on Summit. Uh, and on Tel. Uh, Domination also getting some new looks. Uh, he, this, is, this is interesting, and some of these you're not, you might not recognize from the top-down view um, if you aren't super, super, super duper familiar with this game. But here is a picture of the new uh, Gap Domination map. Um, and if you'll notice here what this is, this is, the, this is the hotel, right, at the top of the hill in Gap. And... Security f spawns in the back courtyard, all the way to the back. Insurgents are spawning essentially in the circle drive in the front of the hotel. I think this is great. I think this is one of the best areas of the game, and the fact that it was never in domination was kind of strange. Um, so I, I think that's pretty cool. And really, it looks like every map in this game, or most maps in this game, are getting a huge change to the layout. Um, and as, as they pointed out, 13 new layouts. We've also got NVG point shooting coming to versus modes, to night versus modes, which some people are probably not going to be cool with. Other people are going to be extremely happy with. Uh, I think it'll be interesting. It's going to certainly provide a different pace of gameplay, uh, being able to essentially shoot from the hip uh, with super accuracy. I mean, obviously, you still have to use the aim function, but it's going to feel a lot like, you know, hip shooting. And it's, it's going to provide for some very interesting balance potential or imbalance potential. We'll have to see how that works out. Um, they've introduced a party color picker, um, which colors didn't work very well um, in parties in this game for a long time. But they, that's something they were trying to clear up and it looks like they may have done that. This next one has been a bane to the existence of anybody who plays this game, specifically on Domination spawn protection 
uh, is getting a bit of an overhaul. Spawn protection. This is this is this is the quote here. Spawn protection and its launch suffered from some issues that meant that it wasn't functioning as designed. No kidding. Uh, so we've enacted some tweaks to ensure that it's far less intrusive and functions the way we originally intended. Spawn protection now should last for 30 seconds or until the player performs any of the following actions: move, aim, activate equipment, shoot. At which point the timer is now reduced to five seconds. Now I've got a little bit of a problem with this. If you're shooting, the timer should be done. Uh, that's my opinion, especially if we're talking about domination maps. When you might just be running through an area where a player is going to spawn, and you'll see them, and you'll try to shoot them, and you won't be able to. And then once they shoot, they're still protected for five seconds and are going to be able to kill you. So I think maybe something they they should I would love for them to consider would be to if you're. I, you know, I just don't like this. I just don't like it at all. I don't. I mean, I understand that players might get killed, particularly in maps like Tell, to really quickly um, in spawn. But that's part of that map being so small. But the fact that you're protecting a player spawning in for five seconds, even after they've shot, is still going to provide uh, some problems. Hopeful that this will make things significantly better, but we're, we're going to have to see. Um, there's a whole list of resolved issues as well. Um, gameplay improvements. Um, I'm not going to go over all these. You can find these, um, and I'm gonna, I'll put the link in the description below if you'd like to go through the entire uh, list of gameplay improvements, level design improvements and fixes. Uh, there's some new mod tools, that are, uh, mod tool fixes, uh, UI, um, UX fixes, and a lot of miscellaneous things as well. So I'll uh, link that in the description below. Hey, listen, you guys, thanks for stopping by. Looking forward to jumping into this on Thursday. Uh, we're going to get more, I assume we're going to get more information about the redacted portions of this um of this uh news uh, info brief uh release notes uh, tomorrow and also wednesday before thursday when the full uh update does come out so uh we'll we'll keep you keep you informed on that i appreciate you stopping by hope you have a great day and we'll see you later